Hello everyone and welcome to yet another mo model kit build. And of course joining me in a lot of these mo model kit reviews is my d dad here. Hey, how do y'all? So today Colton, what are we going to be putting together and what is this about? T t t t today's model kit build, which is of course going to be a g Gundam model kit. And that is going to be the... I won't have to zoom out. Well... First, I will have to, to to scooch the camera back. Gotta back up the camera some. So, this is a Gundam build, but who is the a Gundam of? T today, we're going to be building the Gundam B Barbatos from the anime show Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. And this is the, the, the pilot here. Okay. All right. Well. And th this is the uh, high grade G Gundam Barbatos. Because it says HG here for high grade. And it does say. Iron-blooded orphans on the bottom. Okay. I don't know anything about this Gundam, so all I know is we're going to put someone together. So, well, excuse me. Colton's going to put them together. I'm just going to watch narrate and stand by. Probably me, me be more of a pain than anything, but anyway. <laughs> but I do know... That G Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans is on N Netflix, and also as for for the anime itself, there's a lot of of dark and brutal. Things in it. Okay, so more of an adult content? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so, let's get to building the upper body. Because, of course, I'm going to be splitting this into... Well, I, I'm going to be splitting this into... four parts. The first part is of course going to be the upper body. The second part is going to be the lower body. B building the upper body which is the first part and building the, the lower body which is the, the second part and the third part will be building his weapons and accessories and stuff and the fourth part will be the, the final re result of him all painted up okay all right sounds good so i'm looking at a whole bunch of parts and i will say again the way that these model kits come out today are a lot better than what we had in the 1980s right so there, there's hands down, there's more articulation, you can do more because, ooh, I remember that super glue, oh, that could get messy real quick. But anyway, if you're not careful, that super glue, oh, it sticks to you and everything else. But we don't have super glue, we have, what are those? Poly caps. They have poly caps today. These things here. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to let you run on with this. And, of course, you do get get a sheet of of stickers. But, but of course, if you know me, I don't use stickers because I paint them. So, let's get started for the build. So the first build will be building the, the, the body itself. So the parts that we need is this piece here and this part here. And you want this facing like this with these little curved shaped things facing down. And this tab here will go into this little hole here. Although, the way you attach this is you have to put this at an angle like this so that way this tab can fit inside this little hole here. and then bring it down. So, so it looks like th this. And the next thing that we need is is some poly caps and we need PC2 for the poly caps which are these two things here. So just get them off of the little sprue here. And these are going to attach to, well, you want these facing like, like this here. And you want these attaching to these holes here on the inside here. So they look like this. And then you just take 
this other half here of the chest and you want it you want it like this so that way it can attach together just like that Now we need this part here and the poly cap that we need is PC4 which are one of these here and you only need one. And this is going to attach to this peg here, just like that. And this clip is going to clip on to first. I kind of adjust. The, the screen of my camera. Okay, you want this facing like this with with these two tabs facing like this and this little clip is going to clip onto this little bar here. So it looks like that. And now we're going to take this piece here and this is going to attach to here and you want this like this Now we're going to need this piece, this piece, and also th th this piece here. And these two are going to, to attach together. And You want this facing, the, this yellow part facing like this, so that way this can attach to this blue piece here. Okay, you want it attaching to this blue piece here into this blue tab and that little slot that, that you barely saw, saw. And for this part here, you want this facing like this because this white peg is going to go into that little hole right there. So it looks like that. And 
these two yellow tabs are going to go into these holes here. And that will make his chest here. And we do need a poly cap. So the poly cap that we need is PC1, which is right here. And you want this facing like, like this. And this ball joint here is going to go on this little hole here. And... And it looks like we have the, the body of the Gundam Barbatos all done. So, so now we have the body of the Gundam Barbatos all done. So now the next thing that we're going to build is the head. So we need this white piece here, which is the Barbatos's face. This red thing here, and this yellow part here. Oh, and and as you can see here, for, for the Barbatos's face here, I I I did do a little bit of panel lining here. You can see those black lines here. But what you would do is you would take the face and this little red thing here and this T-shaped tab is going to go inside here behind the Barbatos's face. So it looks like that. And this little yellow piece here, you want it facing like this, yes, like this, so that way this yellow tab can slide into this little hole here. So it looks like that. Now we're going to need these two things here, which are halves of, of his head and these two pegs are going to go into these holes here.
and th this hole is where that little black tab is going to go into. So it looks like that. Now we're going to need these little white things here. And I do have a little bit of mold flash here on one of these. And you want these facing like this yes you want these facing like this so that way these holes here can fit onto the these yellow things here and this black tab is where these holes go into So it looks like that here. And we do need This part here, which does have some mold flash on it, or nub marks. And, and you want this facing like this because this is going to slide into, I'm guessing, here, yes. You want to slide it in here, so it looks like that. And then you're going to take this V-fin here and attach it to this black tab into that hull right there. So it looks like that. And that is the the Gundam Barbatos's head all done. So now let me go ahead and just pop it on his body here. And the, the last thing that we have left is his arms. So we need this piece here. And 
this piece here. And of course, this part here. So, so what we're going to do with these is th this part here is going to attach to to th this peg and that hole here. And you want this facing like this. And for, for, for this part here, this peg is where that, that hole is going to go into. And you want this facing. Yes. Y you want this facing like this here with this part facing th this way here. And we also need to take this shoulder pad here because this black tab is where that hole is going to go into. Now we're going to need these two parts here and this part here. And for, for, for this part here, you're, you're going to take this here and you want this facing like this with, with with this tab facing this way and this hole is where that tab is going to go into and then you just take the, the other half of what, what will become the elbow and just attach it together So it looks like this. And now you're going to take this white piece here and you want it facing You want it facing like this here. And now you're going to slide it into this part here. So it looks like this. And now you're going to take this piece here. And this is going to attach to this hole from this black tab right here. And you do want to take this blue thing here and we do need these here and 
you want to take this blue thing here and take one of these white things here and the, these tabs here are going to go into these little holes here. But you do need to make sure that one side fits in the correct tab. Because, as you can see, the peg here has this little tab that goes into these little holes here. And these holes here is where these two tabs go into. So it looks like that. And then you just take the other half here and attach it together so it looks like this. And then you take his hand here and attach it to the hole here from the ball joint and this little white thing is where this hole and that tab is going to go into and then we can take his shoulder here and attach it to this peg and that hole right there. And that is the arm all done. And I did went ahead and got the other arm built already. So now we can attach the arms to the hole here and the ball joint here. It does c come with a a another arm, like an interchangeable arm piece, but, but we're g g gonna save that for part Th three of the build. And there we have the Gundam Barbatos's upper body all put together. And giving you a little 360 d degree view of him. So, 
So that is the uh, upper body all done. So stay tuned for part three or, or two where we're going to build the, the, the lower body of the Gundam Barbatos.